Okay. That was definitely one of the quicker breaks I've had. But it was all I needed. So. See if I can through World 7. This is that funny level where you can break the game. Oh, why, why, why would I do that? <laughs> Oops. Let's not do that. Oops. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, good. Honestly, I think this is one of the- oh, I can't even know that, right? <clears throat> I think this is one of the more fun themes for our world, but yet, it is very, very rough in execution. Like, I'm trying to remember if this is the one I would get stuck on here. This one, one of the first few levels here it gives me a lot of trouble. Oh wait, there's a there's a piece switch around here. here. This way, right? Yeah. That's neat. I think this is the only time I've ever noticed that the P-Switch pauses the water. Is it- is the idea supposed to be that it stops time or something? Because... The coins freeze, but nothing else- Oh, I remember this. God. This is annoying. I, none of these let me out. But at least I hit them from the underside, so if I ever get back up there, I'm not gonna fall down and be stuck or anything. Or wait. Actually, I don't I don't even think I've Wait, how did I get down here? I don't know if I could pass through the top without affecting it. That would suck a lot if you can. Wait, that probably was how I got down there. I don't even remember. <laughs> God. My memory is so bad. I just can't remember things that immediately happen sometimes. Okay. Oh, I made it. I like that these midsections that aren't levels have the timer in them. So you could die in them if you wanted to. Great.
Mm. Okay, at least I get to grab the star this time, maybe. Not that it would matter too much. Oh boy, I don't think I can slide into those, can I? a normal coin, it was a solid object that I couldn't pass through, and it got me killed. Right. Weird physics or logic here. I was gonna try to time it, but nah, I don't wanna die at the end. Hey, Spiral. How are you doing? Okay. Okay. I'm probably not gonna remember those. Oh, wait. Why did I come here? I don't have to do this. Good. That's nice to hear. You weren't available yesterday for the uh, Chippendale event, were you? Also, oh my god, this level. I don't think I've ever played this level before, but I saw it for like the first time a week ago, and it looks like the worst level in the game, probably. Who designed this level, and why would you make this? I am not gonna survive this, probably. Ah. Welcome to motion sickness. <laughs> yeah. I mean, personally, I don't feel that way. If, it, if it's making you feel that way just watching, though, I do apologize. It doesn't sound fun. So, if I, if I think about it more, I might start to feel the motion sickness. <laughs> Oh, I, I think I do have some frogs, actually. Good idea. I only feel familiar with so many of these bubbles because I've watched runs, a, a lot of Mario 3 runs lately. I've seen a lot of levels I've never played. <laughs> hey Rock, how are you?
Yeah, third place. It surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna do that. Honestly. I, for one, I wasn't sure who all was gonna be in it. If, if there were any more people I wish had entered, it would have been Junkyard Dave and Spiral. It would have been really nice to have a few more talented runners of the game in. But, um... Or who was in it, it was already looking stacked anyway, like... A lot of the other runners... Oh, that's lame. A lot of the uh, other runners were getting, like, very low 10s or sub 10s. Like, oh, it, it's still there. Nice. Like, pretty consistently. And I was like, I've not had sub 10 more than once. And there's no way I'm going to be able to play at a level where I could achieve that. And in fact, I was kind of concerned because my best time all week in de-rusting, uh, any percent, it was a, uh, 10-11? So I was thinking that's probably not good enough. Oh, wow. I kept averaging runs that were, like, between 10-15 and 10-10. But the best I had were, uh, like, two 10-06s and then one 10 4 so I, I really outdid myself, and I think it was because of, lo of uh, a lot of the pressure from being eliminated. Like, I, did, I didn't want to go out too early, because I wanted to, like, try to show I could compete well with the others, but, again, not to the same degree, but it, it went way better than I could have expected, and we were doing runs back-to-back -back for, like, over four hours, and trying, trying to consistently do good runs of, a, of like a 10 minute long game for four hours, that is really, really hard to do. So like everybody seemed like they were getting worn out. Because even, even the best, they were starting like, they had a few lower placements in their times. So th there was a lot of variance everywhere from everyone and just the way everything settled was crazy. And to my surprise, I ended up getting third, so I was like, wow. And it, it was so crazy, too, because, like, Jay? Jay makes me so anxious. I mean, I'm sure it makes everybody anxious, but... Um... I didn't die once in Jay, not until the very last race I participated in, where I got out in third. But it was funny, because, like, I, I died in Jay, and I also- I made some other mistake. I died in the previous level, so... The last race was my worst time. It was a, uh, it was a 10.59, and I was at least happy I didn't die at any other point prior in J, because I probably would have been out way sooner. Um, there was a moment where I would have died at the end from one of the weasels. I accidentally ran into him, but I got the, uh, the frame-perfect kill on the one weasel. So I had like two health before Fat Cat, and it let me live because of that. So it, it was pretty clutch. But yeah, it, it was really fun. I just wish there were some more people in it, but it was really good. Indy and X-Ray were really so consistent with sub tens, aside from a few very crazy players. It's over? Great. Oh, that's not another mushroom. I keep thinking I know how to jump into that, but it's not exactly the way I think it is. So let me see, I got two pipes to go into. I don't know which takes me where. Nice. So I would want to imagine, in a speed run, they use the little cloud to get through this level, because nobody wants to play that. So. Uh, personal notes. Wait, what is this? This is a level? Nice. I wasn't sure what it was, it was weird. 
But my, my personal notes so far about Mario 3 is that I'm playing it a lot better than I have before, but... I'm not really- oh, this level, I, I think I have done this one before, I've at, least, I've at least seen it. This one is a little rough. But, uh, I'm not really sure this is my style of Mario, personally. It's not bad, for sure. This is- I could never call this a bad game. Not my preference, though. This- I think this would be a game I would probably like more if I learned how to run it, though. Oh, nice, there was another P-Wing here. Cool. If, if I just learn how to play this game without having to struggle with so many of the things in it, it would be pretty cool, probably. And I can't do anything about this, I don't think. Oh. I am much more used to playing Mario 1 or 2. Like, not that I can't adapt, but it makes adapting to this game a little awkward. Also, dang it. There's a P switch here somewhere. I'm not going to be able to get it, probably, because I don't think it's any of these blocks I can smash. I need to use, like, a tail on it, so that sucks. Because that room is really fun to go through with, uh... The tail and getting all the coins. But yeah, no. I'm definitely liking Mario 3 a lot more than I have before. But that's a good thing. I get, oh, I can't go on this? Nice. Think of the most enjoyment. I might need to try running it. And at the least, something I like about learning how to speedrun something is that it doesn't... Like, I don't know, people say when you learn to run something, it ruins your perspective on how to play it casually, like, ever. But that pro- oh. Oops. That probably depends on the game, though. Like, I feel like learning tricks to play this better would probably make it more chill casually. I don't have to worry about dumb stuff that I struggle with at all. Also, how am I supposed to progress here? I'm so confused. I tried pushing through that pipe and it didn't let me in there, is that... Or am I just dumb, like... Oh my god. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Alright, let me just... Oh, I don't have... Oh, there we go. I was like, where... I don't have a Wii thing. I have the... the suits, but I don't want to use one of the... Switch around here somewhere. I don't think I can enter this door now, <laughs> so I might have screwed myself. Yeah, okay. I should have thought a little more. But I'm gonna be doing this till I run out of time. Oh my god. Oh, great. Okay, I might need some help here. It wasn't one I could have just smacked with my head. I'm feeling really dumb. Oh, and there's- okay, there's so many doors here. Oh, well, at least now I know. Oh, that's satisfying.
Um, can I go through that pipe? Okay. Nice. Alright, well, that only took me quite a bit. a very stupid room. <laughs> like, I'm already facing a wall here. But yeah. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I, I just went on this... <laughs> I wanted to know, like, is this really a functioning pipe right here? Why would they put this here? And then, oh, they put it there so that people like me do that. So... Alright, let's not do that. so awkward. I don't like it. Fine. Oh. Okay. I was worried I was hitting the top, but it wasn't going to take me through. Why would I move out of the way? Yeah, not worth it. Oh, well, I mean, at least I can get back up there easily like that. Yeah, I was really about to just let that keep going up there. 
Right, that was a neat level. I've learned something, baby. Oh yeah, so this is the level where people flip through stuff. Oh, I actually jumped into the pipe for a moment. Is this hard to do? I mean, probably. But, funny. <laughs> I, I know that also in 7 1, that's also a spot where they flip through stuff. I have failed. Oh, there's only one more. Dang it. Nice. I should probably take this time to go through these things. Yeah, that was good. I I had a plan at first and it kind of wore off. So I wish I had. Okay, I did. I really need some of these right now. Whatever, I'll just go. Well, I kind of wasn't trying to get stuck, but I did. Did that. 
Nice. Nice, I have so many of those. I think, like, how many? Three. Oh, that's still quite a bit. Yeah, okay, so World 7 actually doesn't seem like it's as daunting as I thought it was. Oh, nice. Maybe, maybe it was a bit much for me to handle when I was, uh, young. Also, I wonder. <laughs> I have no clue. <clears throat> I watched like a video or two about how the clipping in this game works, but yeah, I probably couldn't do that. The only one I understand that is kind of easiest to do, just because of the circumstances, like, uh, if the game detects you as standing in a spot you shouldn't belong, it will push you through a wall, and it's kind of easy to do that in Bowser's Castle, from what I understand. If you put yourself in the right spot, in the one corner, just crouch and then scan and put it. I might try that there. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I would actually get her or not, so... Two one-ups. Or two-ups, I guess I could just say, but... <laughs> nice. Yep. Why do I not slow down? I don't think sure. I, was gonna, I don't think I need to have the frog suit anymore. There's not really any other like water level. At least I don't remember there being any in World Eight. Okay, I was gonna- I was gonna get hurt regardless. Uh, I should have just gotten hurt by the thwomp. That would have been much better. Okay, that's not what I needed. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to at least get hurt so I go back to... Paul Mario, but no. So I have a few ideas. I 
would find a way to screw myself over. Alright. Why I shouldn't have access to these things, because I would totally do that. You know, I'm just gonna try it without. But I'm gonna get stuck at the thwomp again, though. That's gonna be a problem for sure. Wait. Alright, I'm happy I found that. Uh, <laughs> there was another one on the top. Nice. Alright, but, but knowing that star is there actually helps a lot. So that's cool. Nice. Yeah, I saw that coming. Whatever. This is a really satisfying game. I almost feel bad that I uh, farmed all those lives because I'm not really sure that was the most necessary thing. That is cool, I guess. Um. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Oh, I was very short, all right. Alrighty, Thumb. I hope you rest well. Thanks for chilling with me. I think at this point, I gotta finish it, yeah. So hopefully I don't get stuck in World 8. But every time I keep saying I got stuck here when I was younger, I end up getting through it, no problem, so. I'll probably be good. Hopefully. The auto scrollers in 8 at the start aren't exactly hard, as somebody said earlier. They're just annoying because they last forever. Also, this is annoying. But whatever. Good. I almost fell straight off the other side. Auto scrollers in Mario World that much. Like, that game also has quite a few, but this game, like, something about it. Auto
This may have more, honestly. And again, they also don't have checkpoints. Wow, I was just frozen for all of that. That was cool. Luckily, I had a power-up. King of the Koopa. Nice. The music here sounds nice, but... I almost jumped into that. Kidding me. <laughs> Alright, I was like, when is this gonna fire? I should get out of the way. And no. Oh boy, it's all about the endurance, I swear. It's quite annoying. Alright. Oops. Let's get that out of the way now. Some of these actually get like really difficult for me to get past. I might use the uh, might use a P wing just to like try to fly above everything in one of these auto scrollers. So I only have like two or three of those, so I want to make sure I don't waste them. Nice. 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 Nice.
Oh my god, can these always not be so excessive, please? All that, and they just hit a, uh, boomerang bro in here. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anything difficult. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Well then... Oh my gosh. I do not feel comfortable. Are you kidding me? If if not like being difficult, these levels definitely give like some mild anxiety. Like there's just too much going on. Okay, that is the end. Oh, and this one does have something more than just a grow. Okay, good, I didn't fail it. <laughs> I just realized Tom didn't spell my name correctly. But that was on purpose. Nice. Nice. Oh my gosh, can I not do that again? Cool. Yeah, unlucky twice, but at the least, uh... At the least I didn't have to end up playing through it at all. Although... Technically... Technically it could be good to go through these, because it'll give me more items. Not that I need them, really. grab I've done. Are they all leaves? I, I wanna ask, though. So. I didn't need to happen. Mm, I could skip this, honestly. 
you know, I... Oh. Never mind, I was wrong. They, they didn't want me to. <laughs> I was thinking, I have this. I've never used it on any of the levels. Maybe I could skip it. Oh. Of course not. They, they want me to play these auto scrollers. That's cool. Great. Alright, cool. Well, that's alright. I have other things to do. Is this a good item to use for this stage? Because I have this too. I don't use like half the stuff I have. I just have to hope that somehow the screen doesn't crush me if I stop holding right. Like, I want to assume there's nothing up there, but I've been hit by a few things that were off screen, so if there was somehow a collision above that would crush me with the left side of the screen, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, yeah, that is turning. Using the items is more fun even if you're running out of them. Yeah, I, I could have probably agree to that. I mean, once, once you're familiar with the game at least, and you know what to expect, you can better plan out what you want to use as your items. Nice. Nice! Uh, I should've just gone. Yeah, that's probably, I mean, that's probably the ideas I've had going into this, so. Oh, nice. I was about to say, are these nice? Are, are these not going to fire? No. Nice. Well, I mean, yeah. I remember they could uh, get back into their shells if you hold on too long. But I kind of stopped paying attention to that. I wasn't sure if I should have held it. I wasn't sure if the level design would have hit something difficult in my path or not. I don't know what to expect. I almost jumped that pit. Uh, alright, I see they pit some, uh, Mario 2. Again, like, make sure you bounce off of that. This is the furthest I've been in the game. I've never made it past all of the auto scrollers. Darkland is pretty cool. I like the use of uh, darkness here for the background.
Alright, I did that to myself. I, there was no need to jump at all. Um... Yeah. I got past a lot of the worlds I thought I would get stuck on. Like, the levels that were hard were hard, but not as difficult as they were when I played so long ago. I did not get caught up on them. I'll either owe that to just being a better player now than I was then, or, uh... God. Or to, like, just understanding this game a little better. Uh, <laughs> how do I do that? Also, wait, you said world does it better if Koopa's in the shells would be mean. And world, don't they like shake when they're gonna break free or get back into them? I wasn't sure if they did it here. I didn't pay attention. Nice. Nice! So, um... I've never really paid attention much to Bowser's design in past games and how it's probably changed. Like, everybody looks radically different, um... Between Mario 1 and then, like, literally any other Mario game. Yeah, blue turtle. <laughs> and then it's funny because the fake Bowser in Mario 2 and 8 4 uh, is also blue. Or at least more blue, I think. Or maybe, I don't know. I, I can be colorblind at times. Maybe he's green, but whatever. Bowser's brother. Funny name. Oh, the sun's back. Cool. Great. Oh! Yeah, maybe I shouldn't hit that switch. That didn't seem to do me any good. I'm going to lose this right away, probably. I'll just fly above the sun, obviously, and I don't know where I'm heading down to. Alright, that's fine. Hopefully. mess with my jump timing, so that was about as bad as I expected it to be. Can we not do this? 
Oh, hey Ted. How are you doing? This is probably not gonna last. Uh, <laughs> especially not there yet. It's not gonna last me anywhere near long enough to be useful. Um, I should probably slow down. Great. All right. You know what? Honestly, I'm just about to. I'm either gonna skip this level or I'm just gonna use something to make it arbitrary. Like one of these three P wings, four P wings. Wow, I have four P wings. I had five then, I've only used one of them. Uh, I'm slowing down a lot. Whatever. What is that exactly? Kamachi sounds familiar, but I might have use it like seven years ago for something. I can't remember what though. Also, am I at the end yet? Yes. Nice, and I got a star out of that too. Amazing. What is this? Car sound. Wait, did I go in a circle? Yes, I did. What? Alright. Well, not really a circle, I just went around there for no reason. Oh. I, like, stopped to scratch my nose for a second. And yeah, I was like moving. Okay. I feel as though I'm supposed to be in this room, and I'm supposed to go over here, I think. Weird. I don't actually think. I, I don't know if I actually know the way out to this at all. I've only seen it in Run, and I'm trying to remember, like, where do they go to? seems familiar. Oh wow, I still had it. Dang. Well, that's not gonna help me get anywhere. Nice. Oh, that's not... Okay, fine. I thought it was just an invisible door. I see. Here we are. Um, except... Yeah, I'm not gonna stand up here. I'm just gonna wait. Well, that, that was like the most confusing fortress I've been in. Aside from like... Whichever one I was in earlier, that was kind of confusing. Can't remember which it was anymore. T 
two more pints. Probably don't lead me anywhere useful. Um... Nice. Are you kidding me? It's so close to the end though. That's actually pretty cool. I got a lot better at biting this, dude. I have never seen this before. This looks so weird. Too bad I'm not with a power up already. Oh. Okay, now my all right questions have been answered for what this room is. Nosferatu, how are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and use something. And careful.
How do you even jump up here? Okay, that can stop it. The lower half of his body has no hitbox on it. I was trying to crouch as, uh... I was trying to crouch under him as Super Mario, but... Threw some fireballs I didn't expect, so I'm glad I didn't get hit by any of those afterwards. But yeah, thanks for the GG's, everybody. Viral. Community. Noodle. Ed. Dabu. Rock. Yeah. yeah, that was very really fun. Um, gosh, I already forgot what it was I said earlier. I should also try to beat. There's just too many games on this system. One of them I need to play is Bucky O'Hare. That game is pretty hard from what I understand. That's fine. Um, hmm. That really is the end. They just beat Mario 3. I played this so many years ago. I wasn't exactly dying to beat it, but it just feels weird. Like, if there's a difference between a game that, like, you tried your ass off to beat at one point in your life, and then you come back to beat it, and then there's a difference between one that you just kind of played, and you're like, eh, can't get it. But yeah, that's fun. Mario 3 is fun.